the first diode will have 128 the second diode 128 hi everyone so in this video we're going to talk about how to test the Schottky diodes so we find the normal diodes in the primary stage of every flyback power supply and the Schottky diodes in the secondary stage of any flyback switch mode power supply of course as you can see here this is Schottky diodes with two diodes connected together here also we have another kind of Schottky diodes with just two leads or two terminals as you can see and over here we have a Schottky diode with three terminals as you can see connected to the motherboard and this is its heatsink because this kind of diodes gets hot that's why we have the heatsink here always you should differentiate between normal diodes like those diodes as you can see here and Schottky diodes okay so here this is just a general purpose diodes or a standard diodes and this is the Schottky diode okay so i'm going to show you the differences between standard diodes and Schottky diodes so we're gonna use the multimeter to test these diodes and we're gonna select the diode option in the multimeter so let's begin first with testing a normal diode or a standard diode in order to say the difference between both here we have a 500 drop voltage okay so let's check the other diode so as you can see we have about 500 the drop voltage or the reading is about 5 100 for standard diodes but for the Schottky diode as you can see let's check the drop voltage as you can see we have a low drop voltage so the Schottky diodes always give a low drop voltage okay that's why you should never replace a bad Schottky diode with a, a normal diode or a standard diode never because if you change or replace a bad Schottky diode with a, with a standard or a general purpose diode, it will be damaged immediately. Because the Schottky diode is a fast switching diode with a low drop voltage. Okay? So here, this is another flyback motherboard as you can see. This is the primary stage as you can see where we have the fuse and electromagnetic interference. So those diodes are normal diodes and over here we have Schottky diodes as you can see. We have two Schottky diodes, one with two leads as you can see and the other mounted to the heatsink with three leads as you can see. So let's check this normal diodes also. We have about, about 500 the reading or the drop voltage. Let's check the second one, the same about 500 this is a high drop voltage basically but if we check this one this is the Schottky diode with three terminals or three leads so we should find a low drop voltage here we have its terminals as you can see in the back of the motherboard okay basically it contains two diodes inside it so we're gonna check two diodes the same the first diode will have 128 the second diode about 128 so this is a low drop voltage so this is a good Schottky diode this is the Schottky diode shape it contains two diodes connected together with their cathode as you can see so always when test the Schottky diode you should get a low draw voltage if you get any continuity or buzzer means the diode is damaged here we have the second diode this is a good Schottky diode this is how you can test it if you get any buzzer or any continuity means failed automatically you should change it 
let's check this also we have another one with the same working process but basically it contains two diodes inside it here we have its reference or part number this is mbr 2010 so let's check it again using the same working principle the first diode we get about 130 good low drop voltage we have 125 a low drop voltage this is another good shorty diode okay so this is how you can check this kind of diodes